scanning the globe. I have losing some of you. We have to really rethink the way we are. The standard camera slideshow. Okay, here is where the fun starts. Hi there, and welcome to another PD Toots tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at making and using frames in video production. Even though we might generally display videos and photos at full screen, there may be times when a different screen layout is needed. That's where frames can be used to add a little je ne sais quoi. Frames are overlays that can be used to highlight a video, make split screens for comparisons or showing a different perspective, or just give a bit of extra visual interest. We'll start with making frames from images. There are many ways to do this, but here are a couple. Using graphics software, we can take a picture and make part of it transparent so that the video can be displayed in the space. We're using paint.net. Here, we're going to block out the painting to leave a transparent space. Select the filled rectangle tool and a contrasting colour. It's a good idea to zoom in for accuracy. Draw the rectangle over the painting, taking care at the edges. Use the magic wand to click in the green space. Then press Delete or Control X and we've made it transparent. Save as a PNG file and we're done. That frame is good to go. Now we'll do the same sort of thing using Photo Director but the same applies to any software with intelligent selection. We take an image and basically cut a hole in it to see through. In Photo Director's Edit module, select the Background Removal tool. After adjusting the brush size, we can select the area to be removed. It won't be perfect on the first pass, but we can tweak it by switching brushes. Zooming in helps with the fiddly corners and rough edges. It's worth taking the time to get it right. When there's a video playing in the transparent space, it will highlight every mistake we make. When we're done tidying up the fiddly bits, we can remove the selected area. Here, we'll select Remove Foreground, then Apply. Save as a PNG file to retain transparency, and we have another frame in our collection. Let's see how our frames work in PowerDirector. We've taken some images and cut transparent blocks so videos can be played behind the frames.
In PD, the frame is inserted in a higher numbered track and the video behind it in track 1. The next thing to do is resize the video to match the frame space. We can do this in Preview window or in PIP Designer. We just need to make sure the edges of the video are masked by the frame. Frames with angles and perspective add a little extra complication, but PD has it covered. To match the video and frame, we need to rotate the video. Then use the freeform keyframes to reshape and reproportion. As we're hovering over a corner, a small cross sign appears to activate the freeform tool. We'll import another frame to show different ways of doing this. Rough resizing can be done in the preview screen. and then rotation and freeforming can be done in PIP Designer. Alternatively, the whole thing can be done right in preview. First, we'll undock the screen and resize so we can see what we're doing. Basic resizing, then using the freeform tool to set each corner. Same result with slightly different steps. Some other things worth considering are saving your custom frames as templates and uploading and downloading through Director Zone. To create a new template in the PIP Objects room, just import a frame you've made and save it. Once it's been named, it will be in your PIP Object library for future use. Templates, including frames, can be downloaded from Director Zone right in PD. And any frame or other template you've created can be uploaded to share with other PD users. If you're a PD Toots subscriber, all the frames shown in this video and many more are available as a giveaway pack. All you need to do is send us a PM. If you're not a subscriber yet, that's easily fixed. Just hit subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have fun getting framed and happy editing from the PD Toots team.